Quest of War Install Python Simply look for the installer and download it In this case, I'm looking for the 64-bit version Save the installer to your download location and wait for the download. Once you get the download, simply double click to start installation. In this case, I untick the stuff that I don't want to install. And I'm going to pick D drive and create a folder called PY362 to be my folder location. Now we have just installed Python. We are going to install virtual length to our system Python. Simply go to start and pull out command prompt. Before we type anything, let's take a look at where the Python execute file sits. We've just installed Python to D drive folder called PY362. Remember this path so that we can type in command prompt. Let's check if the Python execute file is there. Now, look for the scripts folder so that we know where to use pip. Pip is sitting inside D drive folder py362 scripts. Get back to command prompt and navigate to the system Python scripts folder. Type pip list to check what packages you already have. It's going to take a while to load up for the first time. Since we have fresh installation, we only have a few packages. In order to use virtual length, we need to pip install virtual length. If we check the scripts folder, we can see virtual length is already there. Let's open a new command prompt. Navigate to D drive and create a folder called my tray to hold our virtual environment. Let's check if D drive has the folder we've just created. Go back to command prompt. Go back to C drive and navigate to the system Python scripts folder. Simply type virtual length node site packages and the path of the virtual environment, which is my tray and the name my tray env. Hit enter to start installation. Again, this is going to take quite a while. Let's check the D drive my tray folder to see if our environment is already there. Great. Now let's download Sublime Text Tree. We are going to download the 64 bit portable version because we just don't want any installation. Simply click OK to download to our download folder. Open the download and extract all files. Double click it and you will see all files. Go back to the download folder 
and look for the Sublime Text Free folder. Simply cut and paste the folder to wherever you want. Open the Sublime Text folder. Double click the execute file and start running the program. Let's create a Python file by typing some code. To code in Python, go to Tools, Build System, and select Python. When you run the code by hitting Ctrl and B, you'll get error message. Therefore, we need to create new build system to use our virtual environment. Go back to File and save our code as a Python file. I just go to D drive and save my file as test.py. You can name your Python file for whatever name you want. We are going to create new build in Sublime Text to point to our virtual environment. We'll paste some codes to this untitled Sublime build. Pay attention to the code, especially the path of virtual environment. We'd better go back to the environments folder and check whether our path is correct. Oops, our path is my tray env instead of my tray. So we need to make changes to our path. Save your sublime text build file. The sublime text build file is sitting inside data packages user folder. I just name it with my environment's name for easy memory. Save it and you'll see it in data packages user folder. Go back to our Python file and take the sublime build we just created. We then run our Python code by clicking Build or Control B. We can use our Python virtual environment now. Let's run Python code in Sublime Text to grab data from a CSV file. Before that, we need to install pandas to our virtual environment. In our environment, let me check if we have pandas by typing pip list. We don't have pandas, so we need to pip install pandas here. Alright, let's close our command prompt and go back to coding in Sublime Text Free. I'm going to remove everything and create a new Python file to test my newly installed packages. I just name it new pandas.py for this example. I'm going to extract stock data from this CSV file. Let's start. Coding. Check if we are coding in our virtual environment. Oops, we got an error message. 
We haven't got the package XLRD. We need that to read Excel file. All right, let's install that to our virtual environment. Open up command prompt. Navigate to our virtual environment scripts folder and activate it. From there, we pip install XLRD. Deactivate the environment and exit command prompt. Get back to our Python file and hit build or control B to run the code. Oops, we still get error message. Because we didn't define result, let's change our code a bit. Let's see why we still get an error. Because I got mixed up with result file and result. Let me change it and see if it works this time. Yeah, it works. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.